Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Cubimus Prime, and in this video, I bought, um, I just ordered the the Galaxy Watch 4. Now I had I, ha I have the my um, my act Active 2, uh, Galaxy act Active 2 for a, a, a year or two, for two years. It's been a solid phone. Uh, the performance is amazing. The battery life, I get like almost three days battery life. But the bad thing about Tizen is that it's a closed OS and it's not open which is good in a way and it doesn't have not that much uh, uh, app support from developers uh, that means you don't get no Google services you don't get no maps you don't get no app support on it with Android Wear I, be, I, I used Android Wear before and while it was good the bad thing about Android Wear was the system on a chip is old um, usually like right now the the latest system on a chip I think is like about 12 nanometers maybe I could be wrong this uses this uses uh, uh, a new uh, Samsung uh, system on a chip is about, I think it's uh, five nanometers. That means it's efficient and it's powerful and it should help with battery life and performance. And I've been hearing things about the battery life on this. It's not the better than this, but it's, it's efficient enough. Uh, it's an improvement over uh, the Snapdragon um, 4100 chip that they've been using. This uses uh, its own Exynos, uh, Samsung's own Exynos system on a chip. So we're gonna take a look at it. I got it from Costco, so I got 90 days. If I don't like it, I can return it. So we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna unbox it for a second and compare it to uh, this watch that I have and see how, how what the difference is in uh, size and build quality. All right, guys, so we're gonna unbox this, uh, this product here, Galaxy Watch 4. And I noticed that the box is long. Normally it will be squarish, you know, like smaller, but I think they're trying to copy Apple, but Let's open this up to see what it has in it. And I already opened it up a little bit, uh, took the bands out so I don't have to do it in the video and show you the uh, just the watch alone. But I gotta say, the bands feel so cheap and Samsung should be ashamed because, oh my God, it's so uncomfortable. I'm using it right now and the band is just so bad, especially with the, when you wrap around the, the arm with a hole and you gotta wrap, wrap it around inside the band and it's horrible. So let's move, let's move that aside, and we're gonna take a look what's inside the box there, the long box. And let's see what it has. And, all right, let's open it up. And I think that, what I think that could be is, I think that's another band, they included another band. Why not, because it's cheap as hell. And I think the color is, it's like a, almost like grayish white. Not my style. Let's open up more, see what's in it. Uh, quick starter guide, which I don't care. And let's see what else is in it. If I could open it. Um, I don't know what is this. I think, oh, I, it could be the cable or it could be the wireless charger. Let's see. Yep, it's the wireless charger. Looks identical to the Galaxy Active 2 charger. It's a wireless charger. I don't know if this is fast charger. I think it's a fast charger. And let's take a, a comparison between the Active 2 and the new one. You can see that they both have a similar size in uh, on the screen. I think, yeah, I think both are 44 millimeters. And I think that's a speaker grill on the bottom. You can't hardly see it on the Watch 4 because it's dark. But yeah, that is the speaker grill on, the, on both of them. I do like the way the Active 2 speaker grill is. And then the top, which is I think the grip, the, uh, the, the band grip. I noticed that the, the Watch 4 is thicker than the Active 2. And let's look around the other side of the, the watch. If I could steady the damn camera right. And yeah, um, I do like, like I said, I do like the Active 2 speaker better. And as we go around, you have the two buns. And I kind of like the Watch 4 buns more, you know what I mean? I don't know why they feel bigger and, and more, uh, it, it's not too, uh, you know, the buns are not too hard to press. They stick out more compared to the Active 2. And I think the sensor there, it has much more, it has a lot more sensor than the Active 2. Let me uh, Google it for a second. Hey guys, so that's it for this video for the unboxing. Um, so far, I'm impressed by the hardware uh, on, this, on this watch. Is it on? Did I turn it off? 
Yeah, so, so far I'm impressed with the hardware on this watch, um, but the bands are really uncomfortable in my opinion. I think Samsung overcharged. This is about 200, almost $300. This thing should have cost $200. These bands are a fucking joke. Look how, look, look at the, look at the band. When you put it on your, your, uh, your arm, check this out. You got to go through the, through here, right? And then you got to put th this band, you got to go loop it under your arm, right there between your arm. You see that? That is very uncomfortable in my opinion. And I think it's, a lot of people are going to replace this band. So, um, thanks for watching guys. The unboxing, um, I'm going to be, uh, installing, uh, Android Wear app and syncing, uh, my, uh, my information into the watch and use it. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to use it tomorrow at work and see how much battery life I get compared to my active. Usually on my active, when I come back from work, fresh battery for hundred percent, it'll be like about 75%. So let's see how well this watch performs in everyday usage. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.